a few days ago after didi was arrested they had to put him on you know surveillance so that he doesn't unalive himself so he was just behaving in a certain way and then just yesterday the news broke that didi has refused to eat while in detention that people are just lying against him he didn't do any of those things but for people to date back to 1990 19, to 1997 1999 that's a long time ago you know and for people to keep insist that you did these things to them because i remember when cassie came out to talk about her case didi apologized in a video that he was all emotional that he didn't know he did all of those things to cassie but he began to give a very wrong you know a wrong how i put it wrong impression of him because he had done it to other people before cassie came out to talk about it right so if didi is now saying he's, he doesn't want to eat because he has been on hunger strike it's over a week didi got arrested but he's been on hunger strike he doesn't want to eat according to him he doesn't trust the people so he doesn't want to eat so didi should eat because right now they don't want him to even unalive himself because they need more you know testimonies from him and they need a lot of evidence from him because the fbi had uncovered some other things like that that might be very important to the case that is already on ground in as much as there were some people that didi had given had paid off so they could drop their charges that was years before now and didi's lawyer said it wasn't because they agreed to what they were accused of but they just did that for peace sake and all of that but didi being that is somebody who is very very ambitious and he likes the good things of life he has said denied all the allegations and he said he never did any of those things they accused him of that the party he usually you know host is just a normal party but i saw in a trending video on x how 50 cent was you know is it 50 cent yes 50 cent was actually saying that oh he's going to host the party for didi so the party is hosting for didi is it for didi sent forth into prison or what now didi's daughter had come out crying that please they should release her father that have she can't live without her father that her dad is a good man, that she thinks is the father's enemies that are up putting him up to this, setting him up to this, that she she can't stay without her father, she needs her father and all of that. But why and she was asking why are her father's friends so quiet and all. And then on another note, I saw where they said the particular part, the the Snoop Dogg had met Didi in a place and Didi was trying to make advances at him and the news had you know they had the news like that that broke earlier you know years ago or uh, so many people naomi campbell had her own things to say and all of that so if everybody is pointing at you about your party that you had a party that people go to and when they go to that party is usually a time so people know when to leave so that they don't get entangled in the whole mess so it means you should look inward as a person and your family should also look inward and advise you the right way because if they don't give you the necessary advice you're going to keep getting yourself into more problems because didi if you i'm not standing in brief for the people that have accused you neither am i saying what you did is true but if you do not have skeletons in your cupboard you would definitely come out clean and you know hold these people accountable for accusing you wrongly but it seems as though from the time you came out to apologize it shows that there's something there's more to this whole story there's more to this sto whole story and you and um you and your friends you already know how you, you go about your stuff right you already know how you go about your stuff but for them to not come out to talk for you then there's a whole lot we do not know you know there's a whole lot we don't know and that is why it is very good i advise people it's very good to live a clean clean life when you live a clean life nobody's going to accuse you of anything nobody's going to accuse you of anything just live your life 
live a clean life. Seal, seal all the young guys that were brought to you right now in Nigeria. They have accused Bonner Boy. And there's a song Bonner Boy sang and said, when they want to, you know, do something to you through your backside, he said something like that. You know, he sang a song that said that. And then the other young guy who had been with you, Justin Bieber, he talked about your party. He sang about your party. So there's a whole lot going on around you. And I think your family should ask you to tell them the truth so that they will know the right people to go and ask for forgiveness because as it is, you are going in for this. It's already glaring. The handwriting is so much written on the wall. It almost looked as though your friends were waiting for you to just get caught. To just get caught. Jay-Z, who is supposed to be your, your right man. I have not seen him say any word. You guys ball together. I saw a, a video where, or a, a picture where you guys shared the keys. It was a passionate one. So I think if your friends really loved you as much as you thought they did, they should speak for you. They should come out and debunk all these things. They should ask you questions for you to tell them the honest truth. The way you would talk to your lawyer should be the way you talk to your family members. Let them know what really happened. Because the thing is, the women are hurting. The men you have taken advantage of are hurting. That's the thing. So in all of this that has been happening, people are coming out with receipts. The, the time, the video, your video about how many years ago, three years ago, where you were assaulting um, Cassie is online. A lot of people are going back, dating back to all the times you were doing these things and you, the people around you were singing in their songs. The lyrics were there. Is it that you were not paying attention to know that they were singing about you? And you know, there was a time this story went out and said, oh, before you become popular, you must belong to the, sat you must belong to the satanic cult in the US and all that. People, I thought it was just a joke. It was just mm, normal speculations. And just recently, somebody, they, we saw a video of you, of you and Whiskey, the Nigerian music icon. So people have started speculating that the reason the guy is very popular and has so much money is because you guys are a partner. And it's, it might not be true, but because of the many stories, a lot of people are begin, a lot of people are beginning to believe that. So now everybody who has had any dealings with you has been accused of having an affair with you. So was it just an affair thing or just the fact that you inc invite people to parties, they come for your party and then they take a drink and then they are they, they begin to misbehave or it's something that is you planned it because a boy who is 15, Justin Bieber, according to what I read on X and on Facebook, it was said reported that the boy said, allegedly though, that your you bring ladies who are older than him and ask him to enjoy that was not nice that was in it wasn't a nice thing to do at all that wasn't nice you should be able to you know be held accountable for anything you are doing you should be held accountable if somebody brings a child to you to be under you for for, for you to teach and coach you should be able to be a good role model for, to that child. Not a bit. That's why you see a lot of people are, are wounded. And when they are wounded, they don't heal because they, know, they don't even know that they are wounded. They go bleeding on other people. So this, these are the issues. So many people, you know, need therapy. They've not gone for therapy. They've not gone. So these are the things they go through. These are the issues. These are the issues. So let us, you know, be a good people, people of, you know, let us just be people who know what they are doing. Let's be people who are honest. Let's be people who are truthful. Let's, let's be people of integ integrity so that when people bring their children to us, they can be saved under us. Yes, I hear you still have a baby, a child that is still very young at 54. It's not a bad thing, but... Your life did it portray for you to be, you know, out there free? Because your your daughter 
is really, really calling that you should come out. And if you decide not to eat while in prison, I hope it's not a hunger strike you're planning to go for. And they need you to be alive for this case to go 